let's connect to power adapter oops we have a problem we have a short circuit here once we connect to plug the led is turned off means we have a short circuit this is a 100 short circuit in this motherboard because the leds are switched off once we connect the adapter and we have the v in means adapter power supply 90 volt it could be 20 volt but usually 90 volt so b plus when you find b plus in the schematic means the ac or battery power rail for power circuit so plus cpu core means the core voltage for the cpu or the processor 1.5 volts switched power rail for agp interface so this power is for the graphic card hi in this video i'm going to teach you how to track voltages in a dead motherboard using the multimeter and the circuit diagram I'm going also to teach you how to find a short circuit and solve it. So let's get started. I can detect any short circuit in 30 seconds using this component inductor. Let's select continuity option. Let's check the first inductor. We get a ready. Let's check the second one. We get a ready. Let's check the third one. Good inductor. Let's check the fourth one bingo here we have a failure this is the short circuit here we have the short circuit around this inductor as you can see l5 we have the short circuit let's check l5 belong to which circuit here we go we have l5 here l5 belongs to 1.5 volt power rail 1.5 volts switch the power rail for agp interface so this power is for the graphic card we have c71 it's not connected here we have c1089 this could be the failed or the shortest component and we have here q1034 the mosfet So this is the inductors that we gonna use to detect the short circuit. As you can see, the inductor basically contain two terminals. We have L here. So the reference for inductor is L. As you can see, we have L. So this is another kind of inductor. As you can see, here we have another type of inductor. S in the inductor. As you can see, L9. Okay so please pay attention do not confuse between inductor and ceramic capacitor as you can see those are ceramic capacitor and this is inductor so let's select first the continuity option in the multimeter so let's check the first inductor as you can see here l1 we get a reading good we should not get zero in the multimeter so let's check this inductor also we get a reading as you can see good you should not get a zero reading in the multimeter if you get zero means there is a short circuit so let's check the fourth inductor we get a reading good so let's check the fifth one l5 bingo here we have the short circuit we detect the short circuit as you can see around this inductor we have the short circuit because we get zero in the multimeter i'm going to show you how to detect the field component because the inductor is just a wire it's not the shorted component but around the inductor there is a field component so for this inductor for example we don't have a short circuit here we have here l6 as you can see this is l6 basically these two inductors belong to the same circuit so we have l5 okay remember l5 and here we have l6 these two 
belongs to the same circuit. I'm going to show you this inductors in the circuit diagram. So let's find L5 in the circuit diagram. In order to make things easier, so here we have L4. Here we have L3 in this channel for plus 5 volts. So let's find L5. Here we go. We have L5 here. Okay? And here we have L6, as I told you before. This is the circuit where we have the short circuit. Okay? So here, in this channel, we have the short circuit. As you can see, we have L5 here. So we found that this inductor is connected to the ground, directly to the ground. It means we have the short circuit here in this channel. So as you can see, this is L5 here. Okay, we have L5. Here we have L5. So around this inductor, we have the shorted component that we should detect normally the inductor should never ever be connected to the ground always inductors are connected to the power rail let's confirm the short circuit again so here we have the ground as you can see this is the ground and here we have l5 inductor that normally should be connected to the power rail not to the ground so if we check we get a zero in the multimeter. Means the power goes directly to the ground. As you can see. We confirm the short circuit. But for this inductor, the signal, if we check it, as you can see, we get a reading. This is a good reading. We don't have a short circuit in the other channel. So this capacitor C71 could be the failed component because it is connected to the ground. This also could be the shorted component C1089, this electrolytic capacitor. So here we have Q1034, the MOSFET also connected to the ground here. Also, this is a probable cause of this failure. This capacitor, this also, and the MOSFET, one of these could be the shorted compound. That's why we get a short circuit. So, Always when you get a short circuit, you, you should look for the component that are connected to the ground directly. So we can see also that the IC also could be the shorter component. You know why? Because also this IC tip is 51124 is connected to the ground. As you can see here, we have the ground. This is U9, as you can see, the control IC, and here we have L5 and L6. This IC controls these two inductors. So basically, U9 controls two channels. It controls 1.8 volt channel and 1.5 volt channel. But we get the short circuit just in one channel here, not in the other. Means this IC could not be shorted. Because if it is shorted, the both channel will be shorted. Means both inductors will be connected to the ground. So the IC is not the shorted compound. This is the shorted compound. It could be the MOSFET or these two capacitors. But we have another chunk. Here, basically, this power 1.5 volt is for what exactly? It power which component? in the motherboard. Let's go to this table, basically voltage reels, as you can see, where we have the power plane, the description, etc. So let's look for 1.5 volt switch it. Here we have the V in means adapter power supply, 90 volt. It could be 20 volt, but usually 90 volt. So B plus, when you find B plus in the schematic means the AC or battery power rail for power circuit. So plus CPU core means the core voltage for the CPU or the processor and so on. So for us, we want to know about plus 1.5 volt switch it. S means switch it. So let's check the table again. We have here plus 1.5 volt switch it as you can see. So 1.5 volt switch it power rail for EGP. 
interface to advanced graphic parts. This is for the graphic card. So here we have on in state 0 and state 1, this 1.5 volt is on. So we have S3, S5. I'm going to show you in a separate videos this state and how you can use it in order to solve and to repair motherboards instantly. So 1.5 volt is for the graphic card. So let's go back to our circuit diagram. So here basically 1.5 volt will goes directly to power the graphic card. So let's see in the motherboard. So as you can see here we have L5, our inductor L5, near to the graphic card. This is the graphic card here, as you can see, near to it. Okay, because the 5 volt comes from this inductor directly to the graphic card. So the graphic card also could be the shorted component. Because if there is any short circuit in the graphic card, we will get this inductor shorted because there is a direct connection between them. So the probable cause of this short circuit are all components that are connected to A5 inductor in one side and to the ground in the other side, like this IC for example. It is connected to the ground in one side and to L5 in the other side. The MOSFET also as you can see. Okay? And these two capacitors as you can see C1089 and C71. And of course here in this side as you can see the graphic card because this 1.5 volt is the power for the graphic card. Means the graphic card also could be the shorted component. So all components that are connected to the ground in one side and to L5 inductor in the other side could be the shortage component. So let's check the page where we have the graphic card. Here we go. Here we have the graphic card circuit in page 20. So basically, we should find here 1.5 volts. As you can see, we have plus 1.5 volts. This is the power for the graphic card. Here we have the TV controller, the LVDS controller, the VGA controller. So this graphic card could be also the shorted component. Here also, as you can see, we have 1.5 volt for PCA, as you can see, PCI Express graphics. I hope that you understand. So the shorted component can be the IC, the MOSFET, one of these two capacitors, or the graphic cards. Okay? Because in this side, we have the graphic card. Just follow with me. We gonna detect the field component step by step. So now I'm going to show you a trick that you can use to isolate the short circuit. So we can remove for example the inductor. We can remove it from the, the motherboard. If we remove the inductor we will isolate the short circuit to just one side. Maybe this side or this side. Or even we can remove the pad. Okay, we can remove the pad and isolate the short circuit. We have here the first side where we have capacitors, MOSFET and IC. Or the other side where we have the graphic card. Because the pad is like a bridge, it separates two circuits. Always the pads separates two circuits. So let's see the pads here in the motherboard, the pad 3. As you can see here in the motherboard, here we have L5, the inductor, and here we have the pad 3. Okay, so if you focus here, you will see two sides, as you can see, two parts, two different parts, as you can see here. And here we have a thin line, isolation line, between these two parts. So if we remove this part, we will get the short circuit just in one side. 